Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select manage. Now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on ok. Make a double click launch the game. Still not working, again go to properties, this time put a check over here. Select windows 8, hit apply, click on ok, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time select windows 7 over here. And then hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on Disable Full Screen Optimizations and then hit Apply, click on OK and then check. Now it's still not working, in that case you can uncheck. So when you put a check, if it's not working, you can uncheck these boxes and hit Apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, not on Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you are using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings and then go to Privacy and Security if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security and then click on Windows Security. Now, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now, click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed is C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. And then select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file. Click on open. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Let me close this. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to now laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, then go to graphic settings and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download x86 file 
and then I run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. In my case, it's already installed. So here you can see no action was taken as system reboot is required. So in my case, I already installed. It's, te it's telling me to restart my computer. So uh, now download x64. Once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. In my case, it's, it's already installed. I have to restart my computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now, this is important. So open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security. Then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer. And then launch the game. Next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can close this, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. This time you can type in dash DX12. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, pedals, wheels, Connected to the computer, disconnect it, and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disable Steam overlay. Now, for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So, go to general tab and turn off this option and then check. Now, also close all the other overlay application so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off overlay on in geforce experience turn it off or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application do not ignore this if you have msi afterburner revert you know or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game also if you have any third part third uh, like if you have any kind of third party services or application running close it including all your browsers also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. 
one. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to another drive. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, you have to go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder. Then restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.